Hey there, Ron and Annie in the car doctor. We had an 07 Envoy in the shop with us this week. Working on an intermittent dying out problem. The vehicle would shut off after about 30 to 45 minutes, sometimes up to an hour. And it was very erratic how often it would do it. Came into us from another shop. They had thrown a bunch of parts at it. Couldn't get it to, couldn't get anywhere on the diagnosis. So we were called in to, you know, help out. Had a bunch of codes. Had a P0689 and a P1682, which are directly related to this critter you see right here. The powertrain control relay, relay number 60. If I can bring this in and focus it a little bit better for you. It also had fault codes related to injectors, coils, O2 sensors, everything you see on this circuit, all right? Throttle body control. It had all sorts of crazy codes. You'd look at it and go, ah, the computer's wrong, but it's not. Cleared all the codes out because I wasn't quite sure what they might have set versus what was real. And that P0689 and P1682 came right back the first time the truck stalled. So I started looking at the powertrain control relay. Follow it down, okay? We're going to have, let me get a pointer. All right, we're going to have, going through the circuits, yeah, all those things could be affected. They could cause the truck to stall. But this is the power side of the diagram, right? Let's look at the control side. Let me turn the page. Bear with me. You know me. I'm not fancy on my videos. It's just real. This is how it happens. Here's the control side of the video. Or here's, I'm sorry, here's the control side of the relay. See, this is real. We don't edit this. Powertrain control relay 60 is controlled by the yellow wire going into pin 40 on the C1 connector of the PCM. I put a ground, I put a voltmeter here using this for my ground positive at the battery. The vehicle died. The vehicle died. I had ground here. I didn't have it here. I didn't have it at the relay side. So... I put the meter here. The vehicle died. I had ground here, but I didn't have it at the relay. I measured it on the other side opposite of the fuse box. I took a jumper, ran a jumper from where I had tapped into this yellow feed, pin 40, coming in at the D1 terminal of the underhood fuse block, took a jumper, went from here to the relay, vehicle started right up. I knew the problem was in the fuse box. Let me get this out of the way. Here's the fuse box. Now, I've disassembled most of it for clarity because I wanted you to see it. But this is typically what you see, underhood under hood fuse boxes, right? Now, I marked it in red. Red here, this was one leg of the terminal. The copper lug goes all the way up to the other lug in red, right? So somewhere in between there, there's a problem. And I'm going to walk you around. Let me see if I can get it to focus a little bit. Bear with me. Because it's right there. See the brake? Whoop, too far. Can you see the brake? right there okay that's where it happened that copper lug is broken and what does copper do it heats up it gets brittle it ages it snapped on the bend that defect was there back when GM created this monster in 07 there that's a good shot of it right you can clearly see that. So that's how they break. Just that copper strip snaps in the middle of the fuse block. Put a new fuse block in it, plug and play. I'm happy to say the vehicle's fixed. I thought you'd like to see it. Everybody knows about this. This is a fairly common failure, these fuse boxes. But I thought you'd like to see what the actual failure is. I'm always curious. And in this case, we could see it right up close. That's it for me for now. I'm Ron Anning, the car doctor. I'll see you guys on radio. Thanks for stopping by.